It's been a busy March at DBU as baseball, tennis, golf, and track and field all continue their spring seasons. But this week on Patriot Insider, we begin on the road with DBU Cheer and the Patriots in Daytona Beach, Florida, and their quest at College Nationals. In their first performance at the 2019 College Nationals, DBU Cheer received a score of 89.47, placing them in eighth place through the first round of competition. In the final round performance the following day, DBU earned a score of 91.72, pushing them up the national rankings and allowing them to take fifth place overall at the NCA and NDA College Nationals Intermediate Division II All-Girl category. We're so proud of the girls after this week. Um, day one was tough for us. We didn't give our best performance, but came back day two and um, just showed a lot of energy and a lot of fight throughout the routine. So um, we're just really happy with how we did. Um, it was great for them to move up from eighth place to fifth. And um, yeah, we're just super excited about coming home to Dallas with fifth place trophy. So. I echo everything Hallie said. I think that the girls overcame so much this year so far. And this trip, not only did they have a great performance, but they also had a lot of bonding opportunities, a lot of great devotional opportunities. And so I think that the team overall became closer. And it was just a wonderful week. The Patriots pushed through the first day of competition, earning a score of 90.57, which secured them the last of five spots in the college national finals. On Friday, the Patriots performed against four other teams in the finals and received a score of 92.28. The score helped the Patriots secure third overall in the Division II Jazz category. The DBU Patriots had an awesome trip to Daytona Beach, Florida this year for NDA Nationals. We ended up taking home third place, which we were so proud of, but after prelims we were actually in fifth place. And so um, we really took what the judges said in our scores and just really tried to stay up late, fix those things and come back to finals, um, just ready to have a better routine. And it's um, just so rewarding to see our hard work pay off. And so getting top three in the nation for Jazz Category Division Two um, was just really awesome. Yeah, it was incredible to see the girls' final performance. Uh, one of the judges even made a comment that um, the girls exuded joy, and it was real, it wasn't forced, and I think that's just a testament to the girls' um, unified team and their joy in the Lord and in dancing and using that to the glory of God. Um, so we're super proud of them and couldn't be happier with the ending. Men's golf competed in the DBU Patriot Classic at Hackberry Creek Country Club and finished seventh overall to close out their regular season schedule. Senior Tate Fleming led the Patriots with an 11th place finish, ending with a score of 223. Freshman Matt Priestcorn shot an overall 229, which included a hole-in-one in the par-3 13th hole in the second round. The Heartland Conference Tournament begins for men's golf on April 13th. I thought at times we'd play well this week. We just made too many uh, little mistakes to compete at a high level, especially on our home course. I thought we'd play a little better than we did, especially decision-making. Um, of course, played very tough this week. Though. The greens are firm and fast, and um, so we had some good rounds. We just gave away too many shots each 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 round, basically, to compete at that high level. So we got a quick turnaround. We only got about 10 days or so before we start conference, and we got to be ready to go. Track and field competed at a rain-shortened Carl Knight Invitational in Nacogdoches. The women saw Michaela Lamb finish in second place in the 1,500-meter run, while Annalyn Klotz placed third in the 3,000-meter steeplechase. In the men's 1,500-meter event, DBU got top five finishes from Noah Metzger and Ivan Hernandez. Angel Luera earned third in the steeplechase, while Benjamin Duong finished fifth in the 5,000-meter run. That's all for this week's Patriot Insider. You can follow your Patriots on social media with Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. You can also follow the action on dbupatriots.com or by downloading the DBU Athletics app in the App Store or Google Play. Thanks for joining us this week. We'll see you next Monday. For Patriot Insider, I'm Brendan Smith.